Hello, everybody. My name's Neil. I am from England in the UK. Hello. I, I am the director of a summer school, which is called Buxwood Overseas Summer School. Now, you guys are probably all friends in Shimkent in Kazakhstan, but I do not know you all. So please, can you all tell me your names and one interesting fact about yourself? Let's start with Dinar. <laughs> Hello, Dinar. Hello, Dinar. Hello. Hello. What's your name? <laughs> Hello. Can you, tell me one, can you tell me one interesting thing about yourself? Say what you like to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's move to Aliyah. Aliyah, what's your name? Aliyah. <laughs> what's uh, my name is Aliyah and um, uh, in school my favorite subject is math and English. Very good, thank you. Let's move. Guys, I'm just going to mute everybody so we can hear. Ali Khan. Please tell me one interesting thing about yourself. I cannot hear you. Cool. Ali Khan, can you hear me? Hello. Yes. Please tell me one interesting thing about yourself. Okay, let's move on. Amir, hello. If you can hear me, guys, when I, when I ask for one interesting thing, I want an answer in three seconds, okay? Okay. Amir, tell me something interesting about yourself. Um, I love play football. Thank you. Hello, I do not know your name because you changed it. Is it Abai with a cap? Yes. Please tell me something interesting about yourself. Um, I love video making. Thank you very much. Aida, hello. Please tell me something hello. interesting about yourself. Aida, can you hear me? Yes. Please tell me something interesting about yourself, about you. Mm. Time's up. Hello, Myra. Please tell me Hello. something interesting, <laughs> interesting about you. <clears throat> something interesting. <laughs> it's complicated. <laughs> um, I like reading. Thank you. Uh, watching TV shows. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Hello, Maldir. Please tell me something interesting about you. Hello again, uh, my name is Mulder. I'm a teacher, uh, as well as my teacher, and I like dancing. Very good, thank you. Azia, I, Aisana, hello Aisana, please tell me something interesting about you. Uh, my name is Sana, and I love my family, and uh, I love my friends, and uh, I love eat. Nice, thank you. Hello, Charlie de Amelio. Please tell me something interesting about you. My favorite color is yellow. Very good, thank you. Hello, I am very sorry. I cannot understand the Russian alphabet. On your photograph, you have a red jumper. Hello, hello. Abai, hello, can you hear me? Abai? Hello. Hello, Abai. Tell me, oh. We already spoke to you. Sorry. Bye. Hello, Ali Khan. Hello. Ali Khan. Hello. Please yes. tell me something interesting about you. About you. Uh, about my? Uh, about myself? Yes, please. Uh, I like uh, play uh, basketball and uh, I uh, I play in Zombra. Oh, nice. Right. Yes. Very good. 
and Nazerke. Hello. Hello. How are you? Can you please tell me something interesting about yourself? Uh, I'm interested in a book. I, I like uh, play basketball and volleyball. Very good. Um, I reading, I'm, I'm reading newspa uh, newspaper and uh, a book. Very good. Well done. Okay, guys. Thank you for that. So, now everybody can only hear me. All right, so something interesting about me, I have been to Kazakhstan three times, to Nur Sultan, to Almaty, but never to Shimkent, but I would like to visit Shimkent. I met your teacher, Myra, in Tashkent, maybe five weeks ago or six weeks ago, I don't remember exactly, but I really love Kazakhstan. I know a lot about Kazakhstan, but I always wanted to know more, okay? I can do the Kazakh dance, I don't remember the name of the dance. Karajoga, Karajoga. Um, and I love everything in Kazakhstan. Okay. Right now, guys, you are all on mute. So I cannot hear you. But if you would like to speak, please raise your hand and I will turn on your microphone. Okay. Right now, we will begin our presentation. And today's presentation is called. One moment. Today's presentation is called British Stereotypes. Okay. Now, this is something I will need you to help me be involved with. Okay. So, every country in the world has different ideas about. Great Britain, about the United Kingdom. And I am very interested to know what your ideas are. What do you think about Britain? What stereotypes do you, do you have about our country? Um, before we begin, and I will need you to raise your hands because we have some questions here. Before we begin, oh, wait, there are two people in the waiting room. Sarah. Oh, three people. Okay, three more people have arrived. Before we begin, I want to check your knowledge about the United Kingdom and Great Britain. So, can anybody please tell me, what country is this? Please raise your hand. Does anybody know? Please raise your hand. Somebody else is in the waiting room. Okay. I cannot see any hands being raised. So I will tell you. Over here with the blue and white cross, we have Scotland. With the red and white, we have England. And here with the red dragon and the green, we have Wales. And here, is Northern Ireland, okay? And together, these countries, four countries, are called the United Kingdom, okay? And then over here, we have only Scotland, only England, and only Wales. And this is called Great Britain, okay? Maybe you think, oh, I know these two countries. The difference is, over here, we have Northern Ireland, which makes the United Kingdom. And here, Northern Ireland is not involved, and we have Great Britain. Okay, can somebody tell me, I am going to mute, unmute everybody, because I want you to be more involved. So, hello everybody. I can hear you all. Can anybody tell me what is the population of England? I can hear you all, guys. What do you think the population of England is? Myra, what do you think the population of England is? Mm. Maybe 50 million. 50 million? Not bad. 54 million. Mm. What about Scotland? 
Aliyah, mm -hmm. do you think the population of Scotland is? Mm, maybe uh, 60 million. Ooh, 5.3 <laughs> million. What about Wales? Charlie de Amelio. Maybe um, 10. Three million. The population of Wales is? Three million. Oh, very good, three million. Northern Ireland? Two. Um, Abai? One and a half million. Again? Four million. One point eight million. Okay, and what about the population of Great Britain? Mm, I know. I will tell you, it's 63. 66 million. Two million. What about the population of the United Kingdom? 65 million. Because remember, Great Britain does not have Northern Ireland, but United Kingdom, yes. Okay, can somebody tell me what is the capital of England? Great Britain. Ali Khan? It has no question. Hello, Ali Khan. Of England. Can I say England? London. 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 I can do three. What about the population of Scotland? Edinburgh. Sorry, the capital of Scotland. Edinburgh, yes, very good. Is that Maldives? Capital of, yes. Capital of Wales? Capital of Wales? Um, Guys, if you know the answer to the question, please raise your hand. Do you know how to raise your... Ali Khan, you have your hand raised. What is the capital of Northern Ireland? Ali Khan, can you hear me? Yes. What is the capital of Northern Ireland? Um, no. It is called Belfast. Okay. And finally, what's the capital of the United Kingdom? London, capital of Great Britain, London. Okay. Right, guys, this is a question I want you to answer, okay? I would like you all to speak, okay? Everybody is very, very quiet. I need you all to speak, otherwise this will be boring. So come on, guys, let me hear you talking. I am talking to myself at the moment, okay? <clears throat> what British stereotypes can you think of? <laughs> Can I? What British stereotypes can you think of? Can okay. If you can think of something, please raise your hand. Me, me, Aisana. Okay. Where are you? Um, I, I, I think um, a royal style. style. Aisana. Yes. What did you say, sorry? Uh, I think a uh, royal style, um, I think a uh, royal carriage uh, style um, car. Okay. Does anybody else have any ideas? Yeah. British people like to drink tea, afternoon tea. <laughs> people like to drink tea. Does anybody else have any ideas? What do you think about, about Britain? When you think about Britain, what do you think? Britain never seen sunshine. Britain has never seen the sunshine. <laughs> That's a good one. Okay. <laughs> Any more? And it's raining always. <laughs> raining all the time. Maybe today, but this is unusual, to be honest. Mm -hmm. These are good. Anything else? Um... Big Roma, students. Roma, students. 
Let me see. Um, Alia, what do you think of when you think of Britain? Um, I don't know. Okay, what about Abai, who keeps changing his name? Um, I think in England have a lot of spy. Lot of what? Spy. Spy. Spa. Say it again, Ab Abai, in England. <coughs> okay, don't worry. What about anybody else? Any final, any final thoughts? What do you think about? Heavy, heavy breakfast, maybe. <laughs> heavy breakfast. So <laughs> about British food. British food is heavy. Is my breakfast. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, too heavy. <laughs> Banana. Maybe it's people live in castles. People li live in castles. Yes. <laughs> <I will>. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of people in England. We 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 generally live in houses. I know. I don't know in Kazakhstan so much, but <laughs> in Europe and other countries, lots of people live in apartments. But here, we live in houses. Uh, and uh, so. in uh, you have royal family. <laughs> Yes, we can talk about this in a minute. We have the royal family. All right, I'm going to move along. So, somebody said British people drink a lot of tea. I think yes. was, I think Myra said this. British yes. people drink a lot of tea. Okay, people in Britain, yes, we do drink a lot of tea. But I was just drinking coffee. Lots of people tend to drink coffee more than tea in Britain. In fact. According to the Tea and Infusions Association, people in Ireland drink more tea than in the UK. In the UK, we drink tea from tea bags and we always have milk with our tea, which I think a lot of people find very strange. Somebody mentioned the royal family. We are all friends with the Queen. People think that we all know the Queen. Here she is when she was a lot younger. In the UK, not everybody loves, not everybody likes the royal family. Some people really like the royal family. A lot of people, they think, oh, they, they have too much money when there are poor people, so the royal family should give money to poor people. But in my family, we have a connection to the Queen. And here, this is my grandmother. She received an award from, the, uh, from Prince Charles, from the royal family because he was helping people to cross the road for 40 years. In the UK, we have something called a lollipop lady, and they will stop the cars so people can cross the street. Somebody said, we always talk about the weather. Now, in the UK, it's true. We do always talk about the weather. And why do we always talk about the weather? Because this is... a uh, chart about the British <laughs> weather. It's either too hot or too cold. Now, in the UK, if it's hot, it's hot. People are always saying, oh, it's too hot. If it's cold, it's cold. And the weather changes so much that we are always talking about the weather. Like the last few oh, weeks, so, sunny, so beautiful, but today is, is, is not great. I can show you the weather in a minute. Somebody said, it's always raining in the UK. Now, I will tell you, honestly, in the UK, it didn't rain for maybe six weeks at the moment, but today it will rain. Can anybody tell me, or have a guess, what is the annual rainfall in London? Mm. <coughs> In millimeters, I will tell you, 583, okay? What about the average annual rainfall in Shimkent? Do you think it is more or less than London? Less, less. A lot less or a little less? <clears throat> more or less. A lot. a lot less. In Shimkent, 502. Oh. So it's not so much difference. So when you think about 
it's always raining in London, in England. It rains a little, a little bit more than in Shimkent, so think about that, okay? <laughs> Lots of people say to me, Neil, we want to speak with a British accent. We want to speak like the Queen. And in Britain, we have 30, well, more than 30 different British accents. Now, I could show you these different accents, but there are so many and I cannot do them all. But in Scotland, this is a British accent, Scottish accent. Northern Ireland is Britain. This is a British accent. I am from Liverpool. We have a British, this is a British accent, but my accent is called Scouse, a Scouse accent. And in Liverpool, we have our own kind of language. Can somebody tell me in Liverpool, what does boss mean? Any ideas? In Liverpool, boss means very good, amazing. What about this? Go ahead. In Liverpool, this means something, when something is positive. Amir, when I am watching Liverpool Football Club, when we score a goal, I say, go ahead. When I am happy. <laughs> what about this? Heavy. Okay. This means a drink, like from beverage, made up. What do you think this means? Right now, I am very happy. I am made up. Tara means goodbye. Mm -hmm. okay. This means very busy. Like. In Liverpool, people say like at the end of every sentence, like, I don't know why, but we do. Okay. People think, a stereotype, British people are super polite. And I can tell you that this is true, okay? On average, British people will say sorry eight times per day and sometimes 20 times per day. And I can tell you it's true, even when a British person, for example, if I am drinking my coffee and I dropped my cup, oh, sorry, I will say sorry to the cup. If I, if I hit the table, oh, sorry, I will say sorry to the table, okay? But also, British people will use politeness as a way to be rude as well. For example, um, when I am in a, in, in a shopping center or in a place and I am holding the door so somebody can pass through, if they do not say thank you, I say, you're welcome. So people, <laughs> will, people will use politeness to be rude also. Like if somebody gives me something and they are late, or I can say, thank you. So although you are being polite, you can also use, use it to be rude. British people love to queue, okay? I don't like queuing, but British people are excellent at queuing, okay? This is a queue, okay? This is for an Ed Sheeran concert. I mean, guys, look at this queue, it's perfect. Everybody loves queuing. Look at this queue here. This is to go to the theater. It's a national superpower. And queuing is very important because it's fair. Sometimes when I go to different places and there is no queuing, I become very, very angry, like, it's my turn. But nobody's queuing. People think British food is bad. Do you think it's bad? Mm -hmm. What do you think we eat in Britain? Maybe many different cultural. Pardon? Well, British food is not really bad, but when you think about it, you might think about things like this. Over here, we have an English breakfast. Here we have fish and chips. Different cultures. Multicultural. 
Yeah, exactly. So when you come to England, you can find food like this. You can find food from China, from India, from Italy, from Mexico. You can find food from all over the world. So no matter what food you want to eat, here in the UK, you can find all food. Okay? One more thing. I would like to show you guys a video of our summer school, okay? And then I would like to see if you have any questions. So please tell me if you can hear this. Okay. One moment. It was my first time in England, in a foreign country. Oops, sorry. Can you hear it? Yeah. And I was on my own. Sometimes it takes a couple of days for kids to settle. The first time away from their parents, they're in this new environment. But after two or three days, they've made a couple of friends. Then after two, they've made a couple more. It's adorable and it's just so rewarding. <laughs> It's a very diverse place. We've got kids from all over the world and they each bring their own personality to it. We create this environment where they're, they're speaking English all the time. It, they're completely immersed in it. One thing that's really important is expression. They're learning so that they can go out into the world and have conversations with people. Just see people blossom, you know, it's, it's quite heartwarming. When people come to me, I'm not afraid to speak to them. I always try to express myself as a person. It makes them feel much more open. It's our philosophy to broaden people's minds. Kind of absorb all the differences in culture and stuff like that. So yeah, that enriches you as a person. We get a lot of people coming back year after year because they just, they just have such a good time here. It's a very big part of my life. I count down days until I come back here. English really gives you a lot of opportunities. You can travel all around the world without any problems. It's just real life, genuine fun. Okay, now. Here I am. Hello, everybody. Does anybody have any questions? Please say yes. <laughs> Do you have any questions? Um, I have one question. Ah, two questions. Perfect. Yes, I'm here. Um, you was in much Liverpool. Yes, many, many, many times. Um, you are lucky. You can easily get to the match. Yeah. Well, actually, now not so easy. When I was young, when I was living in Liverpool, I would go to the match. Every week. But now I live in Brighton, which is in the south of England, and for me to travel to Liverpool with my car is six hours. So now it's not so easy. That's yes, 30 minutes we have. Uh, this video, I, I, I watched this video. Well, you could watch it again. You're very lucky. Abai, do you have a question? Yes. How currently goes in England? One moment, I'm going to mute everybody. Hello, Abai. Sorry, what did you say? Uh, how quarantine goes in England? How? Quarantine. Miss Mayra? Hello? How quarantine uh, goes in England? How? Quarantine. Quarantine. Quarantine? Yes. Ah, how is quarantine in England? Yes. Ah, good question. <laughs> Sorry, I, I wasn't expecting this question. Um, it's for me okay because I like to live a simple life. And in England, everybody has to stay in their house, everybody is working from home. And we can, we can go outside once a day, 
to do exercise. And I like running, I like cycling. So for me, it's, it's nice to have a simple life with not so many choices. I don't like shopping, so I don't, I don't miss shopping. I love going to restaurants, but now I am cooking more in my house. I am practicing cooking. So for me, it's, it's okay. I, I think it's, it's okay, but I miss my friends. I miss my family and I miss summer school. I am excited for this to be over so I can still continue to live a simple life, but I am excited to see, to see people again in real life. Have you panicked? Pardon? Have you panicked? Did I panic? Yes. No. Did you panic? That's all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Abai. Amir, do you have another question? Okay, one moment, please. Hello, Amir. Um, you have family? Yes. I have in my house now my dog and my wife. And I have in Liverpool, all of my family, my mum, my dad, my sister, my nieces, ah. um, but all of my family live in the north of England and I live in the, in the south of England. Good question. Any questions? Any more questions? No. If um, if coronavirus um, um, finish finish um, um, I go to the England, the British, for uh, in your uh, like uh, in your sc uh, school uh, summer school boss. I hope so, Amir. I hope that I will see you in summer. I really do. It will be. We have a question. Ali Khan, I think, has a question. I saw a hand. No, no, no. No? I have a question, guys. Do you have Instagram? Okay, if you go onto our Instagram page. You can find us here, Bookswood Summer School. And on here, you can find lots of videos, lots of pictures. Every day, I like to share information about what we are doing, information about our summer school. So on here, you can find many, many different things. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Ali Khan. Where is Ali Khan? Ali Khan, hello. Okay. Uh, I I have a one question. Yes. Uh, did, did you play a game? Any game? Mobile games or something like that? Here is my mobile. And on my phone, I have zero games. Oh. Do you know why? Yes, because, I know. Because I, like, I don't like mobile phones. I like to talk to people face to face. I don't like to play games on my mobile phone. I like to pra practice my guitar or to read or to go running, or to just relax and do nothing. But on my phone, I have, it, it's kind of a game. It's not really a game, this one, called geocaching. Do you, does anybody know, ge <laughs> this is me. Does anybody know geocaching? Does anybody know this? Okay, oh. this is a fun game, but, you play it outside. So it's like a treasure hunt. And all around the world, even in Kazakhstan, you can find small boxes um, with things inside. And you can um, use this app to find the boxes. And when you find it, you write your name. And, 
and put it back. It's as simple as this. It's, it's like a fun treasure hunt, but it takes you outside in nature, in forests, in beautiful places. It's a really nice game. But if you could recommend one game, Ali Khan, what game would you recommend? I don't know. All right. Any questions, guys? Thank you, Ali Khan. Any questions? Let me stop sharing my screen. Sorry, one moment. Hello, everybody. Any questions? Amir, another question. <laughs> Hi, Amir. Um, how old is your school? Um, so Books with School was, ah, yes. it was founded in 1933, which means it is 87 years old. Uh, your school, yes? Yes. Boss. Boss. Okay, so Boss is in a school called Bookswood School. Bookswood School is 87 years old, but Boss is uh, nine years old. Ah, um, just I think uh, your school, uh, um, maybe two or three years. We had our first summer school in 2012. So 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. It's, we did eight, eight years. This will be year number nine. Good. Does Ali Khan have another question? Hello, Ali Khan? Ah, no, no, no. No? Ah, yes, yes. Uh, if someone say you, you can drink just one thing, which drinkable uh, thing do you want to drink every... Uh, all of your uh, years. Okay, good, good question. All of my life. I love water. <laughs> That's a very boring answer. I love drinking water. So I will drink water for the rest of my life because we need to drink water. In my garden right now, there is a, a big seagull. Do you know what a seagull is? I'll show you one moment. So a seagull is a bird which you will find next to the beach while he left. I wanted to show you some English animals. Any more questions, guys? Okay, Alia. What is? Hi, Alia. Thank you, Ali Khan. Uh, hello. Hello. Mm. Have you, uh, have children from Kazakhstan been in summer school? Summer yes, school? we have had a lot of kids from Kazakhstan in our summer school. Um, for the last, every summer, we have had many kids. If you, I want to show you some photographs, but there are so many. Let me find one photograph from last summer. One second. And it's very interesting for us because every um, summer when we have kids from Kazakhstan and from many different countries, it gives us an opportunity to, to learn about different countries. So here we have some photographs from last summer. Uh, one moment. Sorry, guys, one second. Ah, here. So here. Um, so let's have a look at this picture. This is everybody one day last summer. We were trying to find some kids from Kazakhstan. Oh, there's me. Here's me. Um, from Kazakhstan in this picture. Let me see. Ooh. 
There is everybody. There's too many pictures. I cannot see everybody. Ah, this guy here. He is called um, Amir from Kazakhstan. Him. Ah, here. Two kids. Ah, three kids. One, two, three. These three girls. Eman, Malika, and um, Amina. They are from Kazakhstan. But in the past, in the past, yeah. Oh, here we are. Eman and Malika, they are from Kazakhstan. Also here. They are again two girls from Kazakhstan and then some girls from Spain, from France, from uh, Slovakia. Yeah, we have kids from all over the world, but yes, from Kazakhstan also. Good question. Any more questions? Let's see if Myra has any questions. Hello, Myra. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Do you have any Thank questions, Myra? Uh, so I hope that uh, this summer we could join your summer courses. <laughs> Me too. No. My question is, <laughs> do you live in a flat or in a house? I live in a house. Because, because you said uh, I've got, I have a garden. Yeah. Let me show you. So. my house so we have two bedroom two bedrooms here one bedroom in the back kitchen here in the front we have a living room but my house is a bit messy so this is my garden at the moment we are trying to make the garden more beautiful it here looks cute my neighbors houses mm -hmm. over here we have the countryside past these houses I have trees, palm trees, which is not normal in England. <laughs> I'm trying to grow, grow some. Fruit. How do you grow them? I didn't grow them. My mum, she bought them for me. <laughs> <laughs> so they, they arrived like this and I, and I put them inside the ground. Do they need special care? Not really, no. They, uh, they, they're very easy. Simply just put them in the ground and they need water that's all mm -hmm. but they don't need so much um, they don't need so much water but it's, uh, it's nice somebody has a question but I don't understand this name because it's Russian I think my students today they are shy <laughs> too shy I hope you will not be shy in England when you come to boss because we will be doing lots of fun things are they too shy to take a photograph? Guys, can we take a photograph? But well, everybody needs to put their camera on and go like this. Включите, пожалуйста, свое видео. Hey, everybody's here now. Bina, Aisana, Nazerke. Can we see you? And we will take a nice photograph. And I'll send it to... Oh, everybody is here. <laughs> Nazerke. Right, guys, I'm going to take a screenshot, okay? I cannot put my hands because I have to press the buttons. Yes. But I will, um, I will smile anyway. Are you ready, guys? Today we will do the happiest faces possible, okay? Are you ready? Wait, Aizana. Yes. Aizana disappeared. Where is she? Aizana, hello, hello, hello. Where are you? She will. Anyway, are you ready? <laughs> ready? Three, okay. two, one. Thank you, guys. Uh, Aizana is here now. We need. Can we do the picture again, Aizana? Or are you shy? Can we do it again? One more. She, she came back. Okay. 
Um, second. Let me save this one in case it's a good one. Are you ready? One more, okay? Now, oh, somebody else left now. Let's get this person to come back. One second, somebody else left. We need them to come back. They're not coming back. Okay, are you ready? One more. Smile. Three, two, one. Thank you, guys. I will send it to, to Myra. Any final Thank questions? You. Oh, wait, we have another question from the Question King. Amir always has questions, a lot of questions. questions. Everybody should ask questions because this is how we can learn. Yes. Uh, where do you like, in Liverpool or London? Uh, Liverpool. Liverpool. Yes, because this is my home. This is where I'm from. This is my city. And in Liverpool, you have your favorite team, Liverpool. Of course, the best team in the world. The best team. How often do you, you uh, do you visit London? How often do I visit London? Um, at least maybe once a month, because I live in Bra I live in Brighton, and to travel to London is one hour with the train. Uh, it sounds incredible for us. Yeah, um, <laughs> I like London. It's interesting. I like to always discover new things in London because London is a very, very big city. So every time you go to London, you can you can learn something new. You can see something new. But of course, I think you guys, if you've never been to London before, the first thing you would like to do is see all of the famous places like Buckingham Palace and Trafalgar Square, the London Eye and Big Ben, things like this, which if you come to Boss, you will see. When you go to London for the first time, we will take you to see all of these places. In, um, in last year, Liverpool won uh, League of Champions. Yes, the Champions League. Champions League, yes. This was amazing. I was so happy. Um, the sound is off. Sorry, Myra, what did you say? So Maya has a question. Um, In what? red uh, sweater. No. Okay. What's your name? I cannot read the, the alphabet. I'm sorry. Maya. My name is Maya. Hello. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. And you? I'm very good. Thank you. How can I help you? What's your question? Um, do you play any musical instrument? Yes, I can play the guitar, which I have behind me here. I can play ukulele. I can play bass guitar. I can play the drums. Um, I can play lots of different instruments. Even if I, I can play the dumbra, I can't really play the dumbra, but I would like to learn how to play the dumbra. Uh, but if you give me a musical instrument, maybe after one minute, I can play. I can play something. I can play a little bit of piano. Um, yeah, I just need a few minutes and I can play one song at least on, on any musical instrument. Can you play any musical instruments? I, I play in piano. Very nice. Ali Khan has a question. Thank you very much for your question. Uh, hello, Ali Khan. Hello. Uh, what is the name of your uh, dog? The name of my dog is Boss. Should I try to find him? Do you want huh? to see him? Yeah. Okay. Yes. I found him. He's here. This is my dog. His name is Boss. I don't know why his name is Boss. He, he, um, we adopted him when he was two and his name was Boss. 
which is good because the summer school is also called Boss. He is a Boston Terrier, so I can only think maybe his name is Boss because he is a Boston Terrier. And he is very angry with me because he was sleeping and I woke him up. He is nine years old. He's a good boy. I will put him back in his bed one second. Any more questions? Oh wait, Ali Khan has another question. Hi Ali Khan. Uh, hello, uh, do you can draw uh, or paint? Can I draw or paint? Yes, I can, but I'm not professional. I like drawing and I like painting, but I am a perfectionist. I want everything to be perfect. So when I try to draw, if it's wrong or it doesn't look good, I throw it away in the bin. Do you like drawing? Yes. Are you a good artist? Maybe, but I don't know. I think everybody can be a good artist. We have another question. No. And guess who the question is from? It's from the question king, Amir. Yes. Uh, can you uh, play uh, on the guitar now, uh, in the moment, uh, mini music? I am very shy. What? I am shy. Ah, she's knitting. Ah, okay. It's not wrong. Yes, I can play it, but I am shy. If you look on some of the Facebook or uh, Instagram videos, you can see me playing the guitar. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Any more questions? What, ta what, what time is it now in Kazakhstan? Let me unmute Myra again. Hello, Myra. Hello. <laughs> what time it's, is it now in Kazakhstan? Uh, it's 4 p.m. 4 p.m. So guys, will you finish school now after this? For today? Time to relax? Thank you very much, Neil. It was really, really interesting. And yeah, I really you. appreciate it. Thank you. It was a pleasure. It was very nice to speak to you all, guys. And thank you for saying my dog is cute. We have Aziana saying my dog is cute and Maldir saying my dog is cute. <laughs> Said he looks like a boss. <laughs> if you have any uh, questions, let me know and I will send you this photograph and the video and things like this as well. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Guys, it was a pleasure to meet you all. I hope I will see you in England. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. Or oh, as you say in Kazakhstan, where is my cover? <laughs> Sao bolnus. Sao bolnus, right. Sao bolnus. Uh -huh. Thank you. Bye guys. Bye Myra. I will speak to you soon. Goodbye. Goodbye.